but it happened to me, I want to say twice, where I dealt with mm -hmm. a widow and a sombra, mm -hmm, and I mm -hmm. had that happen today. So that's mm -hmm. my questions. <laughs> yeah, so it's just understanding how to deal with multiple threats at the same time. Is that correct? Yeah, because I think I I do get confused. Like I. I think at one point, like, I do keep an eye on, like, Sombra. So putting, like, a Venom mine where she would be at. Um, mm -hmm. But then it's, like, then there's, like, the Widow. And then I lose track of that, too. And it's, like, what, what should I be thinking here? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of most of the awareness, being able to scout all those threats together and just being able to respond yeah. to one threat and then go to another at the right time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think that makes sense. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you, well, what do you want to start with then? Do you want to start with going over soldier or you have an example where you had a problem dealing with both, both Sombra oh, and can... Widow? Mm, we can do the soldier one first, and then the widow one um, we can do after. Mm -hmm. Sure, yeah, we can do that. And so far, what else you mentioned in the form? You mentioned that you practice timing your engagements when your tank engages. Yeah, so that, yeah. that looks better. Mm -hmm. Scouting yeah. the start of each team fight too. Yeah, do you, do you, would you like to make any comments or...? <laughs> Oh, I was just like, yeah. <laughs> I that's was okay. just like saying, yeah. That's okay. That's, that's all uh -huh. I've been kind of focusing for the last two weeks. Mm -hmm. Um, was mostly that, and then on the weekend I decided to have fun, so I played a bunch of different characters and ended up like liking soldiers. So yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think this is fine. This is all good. And in terms of what you did while blinking towards HP pack and just managing yeah. your cooldown, think about your cooldown still a bit more using recall, fighting isolated targets, so that went better. Just overall, all that tracer practice. Yeah, what we did like, before. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so now I, I notice I don't recall. Um, like, I do recall when I see that we have an advantage, and I'm like, okay, we can continue. Um, right. otherwise I will, like, I keep mind of where a health pack is now, mm -hmm. or I, and, like, I scout around. Mm -hmm. Um, still dying to burst damage, but <laughs> I'm, mm -hmm. I'm getting better at, um, seeing the animation now, I noticed. So. Yeah, yeah, so kind of reacting to animations. Uh, when you die to burst, what is that exactly? Is that kind of... Just you need more practice time, or is there something what's difficult? Yeah, I think I think it's more practice, like um, like still, how do I say it? Um, mm -hmm. like it, like being in certain situations, like sometimes I will just die immediately from like a soldier helix rocket, and right. in my <laughs> mind, I'm like, oh, I should have kept in mind that he has that, um, before you know going in deeper <laughs> and wait to like dodge it mm -hmm. so yeah mm -hmm. i think it's like more practice that i need for tracer mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay yeah i think that makes sense well let's go over soldier first then and uh, mm -hmm. we can go over that another example where you play widowmaker i see that you got two codes so the one code for soldier and the second one is where i assume it was against sombra and widow together right yeah i had that happen today and i was like oh maybe i should bring that up because i did watch the replay but i don't, I don't know <laughs> that's fine yeah. that's fine you know i think because this widow uh just playing versus sombra and widow might be a little bit too specific maybe we can go with that first um and then go and watch okay. the soldier replay yeah i'm just yeah. thinking we we're not gonna dive too deep it's just kind of discussing general idea of what he can do and but then mm -hmm. we're definitely gonna talk about the soldier for the most part i think might be a good idea okay. to do it this way okay yeah let's see yeah. Uh, 
it's like near the beginning i want to say um mm -hmm. eventually i think because yeah this happened today and then when we defend on the first point it kind of just falls apart immediately mm -hmm. i noticed mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so it's a d de on defense on the first point that's when the issue happened or uh right now actually is um, oh, okay. like the beginning and on defense okay. Um, okay okay first point okay versus yeah so it's exactly happening now in the yeah so we, <laughs> you kind of know well do you know they have a video actually or um I think I heard her gunshot like earlier, yeah. like while we were in spawn. So yeah. I'm like, oh, 100%. I hear Widow. So I decided to go this way so that she doesn't see me right away. Right. I right. I didn't know they had Sabra, so. Right. Yeah. Okay. 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 So at this point of time, we're kind of trying to deal with Widowmaker. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. We don't necessarily know that the Sombra is, is there. However, there is something what can be done to potentially check those threats to potentially think oh like if there's somebody can come anyway all right so first mm -hmm. of all it's your when and mine how do we use that yeah because a lot of oh, times yeah. mm -hmm. in this map you expand a lot of snipers it makes sense but we're still thinking about this idea of what is that angle which we not really checking what is that threatening space where somebody can come from and kill me <laughs> so what that space is mm. gonna be oh uh, yeah like the that opening on the left side i should have yeah. grown it there yeah i think so um, too yeah mm -hmm. so it's just kind of using the venom mine and it's just again leaning towards fundamentals i don't think it's about the sombra it's just rather would do something with venom mine if venom mine was wrong maybe you didn't place it correctly for whatever reason mm, then well we can work on that but i think most likely if you do it here you're gonna check any threat like potential tracer or maybe even some other people flanking like who knows maybe they have hanzo who is looking for weird flank here or maybe they have yeah tracer sombra something like that mm -hmm. that is something to check just where we're not putting our crosshair really are we away from that position um we mostly checking all of this here but it's harder mm -hmm. to move the crosshair there it requires a lot of effort so we usually place the uh. venom mine somewhere there yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that's the first thing so mm -hmm. i should put venom mine even at the start for sure i could for have sure. avoided this it, it, oh, okay. it, it should be ideal it's always should be like a habit if the we mm -hmm. go in a fight and we're about to fight an enemy in an active way and our venom mine is not there that's usually a mistake well they might not have a flanker they might have somebody else like double sniper but uh, you will adjust your position your venom mine once you know that information once you actually see all of that well you can think about other placement maybe not necessarily having it here but then later you might think about something oh maybe i should place it somewhere i don't know kind of longer range sight lines maybe just uh, well a little bit further forward kind of maybe here checking this w window while you're dealing with this well it depends but obviously mm, it should yeah. be yeah but if actually going in the first fight it should be placed somewhere okay yeah, I guess I should keep that more in mind, like put Ben mm -hmm. in mind, and then I think I was too focused on the Widow. I forgot about the Ben in mind, because I did hear her earlier. Oh. Also, just kind of specific detail, but might be useful. If you look at the mm -hmm. Sombra, so we see the Sombra's cross here, it's going, she's going to hack you now, but then mm -hmm. there are a few details which you do in terms of your movement like mm -hmm. how you make it easy for the sombra to kill you <laughs> what do you think it is just to look at what we do right now mm -hmm. what is that what made it easy for that sombra to kill you uh my movement was predictable i want to say like i didn't really 
Did I? Why is that predictable? Uh, I jumped. Jump. I jumped okay. and I kind of just went left and right. Like mm -hmm. I didn't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, th this is more mm -hmm. of a so two two ideas. Yeah, we because we want to make sure our what I meant today your movement uh, really. Not as predictable for the enemy. You make it harder for the enemy to aim at you, and make it easy for you to aim at them. Mm -hmm. So, because mm -hmm. we want to do that, first of all, definitely avoiding jumping is a good idea because too predictable trajectory. It's way too easy to track. That's the one thing. And the second is we're trying to make sure our movement as not as linear. Remember that is something we talked about with Tracer. You don't want to blink on the side. You don't want to, uh, well, uh, you don't want to be behind or like forward uh, to in the face in the enemy, yeah. But you want to blink on the mm -hmm. side, yeah. That's what I wanted to say. So here, it's kind of the same issue. Your movement is a little bit too linear. You're just going in one specific direction. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So to mm -hmm. avoid that, not going in one specific direction, you can be doing a de-strafing, uh, just moving left and right at the same time so it requires more effort for the somber to actually move the crosshair she's going to be moving left and right you might do some more unpredictable movements the patterns can be different you don't necessarily have to be moving just exactly one meter left one meter right sometimes it can be slightly one and a half meter or maybe two meters left and then two meters right but it should be less linear isn't a general oh, idea okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. so left and right but like randomly you can do that uh, the randomness it just really depends on situation you will i think you once you'll be facing those situations more and more it will be more like a second nature you just i wouldn't focus on that that much basically like mm -hmm. you fundamentally is an idea you're trying to focus on these strafing and all of this where you're gonna end up i think this those are two specific details you don't have to think about that as much i think like just starting with this first yeah like a strafe, okay mm -hmm. but how far i move you 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 will you will notice that later you might even what are you your own play and just see what are the specifics <laughs> maybe ask me yeah, as well but just, yeah yeah looking at that um that does look really predictable and i think i end up sculpting at the end but mm -hmm. that kind of slows me down well this yeah. this is a I little don't... yeah yeah for sure for sure even even doing like your grapple shots sometimes it's also the part of unpredictable movement if you have it of course that is something you can do here obviously we don't have it so you just say the strafing and crouching instead of jumping simply mm. yeah we don't want to be too predictable in that case mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay does all of it make sense or any questions yeah yeah that makes a lot of sense i should yeah i think like looking at that i i am really predictable like if i were the sombra fighting a widow like that i mm -hmm. it would be easy so mm -hmm. but see yeah. now we actually learn from that situation the deep place you went on that is much better you check yeah. in that space where the sombra might come from and that influences the sombra to actually stay uh, kind of not uh well not be as aggressive now you can be aggressive towards the widowmaker dealing with one mm -hmm. threat at a time ideally right okay mm -hmm. is there any point of time where was the issue as well maybe any other specific ex example or i i think that covers it really because like i wasn't really sure um whenever like sombra jumped on me mm -hmm. um i think i just need more practice so uh, uh versing her and widow at the same mm -hmm. time because it's not often i get them <clears throat> at the same time so yeah 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 it's definitely kind of combining that and seeing um where you, what your position is going to be so you can deal with both sombra and widow at the same time mm -hmm. um, and another idea is that we don't want to be exposed to two threats when you are active in the fight you just want to deal with one sweat at a time yes your position should allow you to be able in theory to deal with two sweats but there is a difference between you picking two sweats or choosing yeah like once you're in a position 
you can choose to deal with Widowmaker. I don't know, maybe let's say here, yeah. Your position, maybe let's say this here inside the rooms, it's slightly better against both Sombra and a Widow in some moments. Well, you, mm. let's say you dealing with Widow, you're picking her this way. Well, with the Sombra, you dealt with the Sombra by having that venom mine for example so it's not as easy to go on you so dealing with widow but then when the summer goes on you you're not necessarily picking the widow maker anymore you can go inside and deal with the sombra later but see we're kind of playing around that same spot yeah we're playing around the same uh, uh yeah. position it, it, i'm not i'm not saying this position is where you should be playing well it's kind of might be slightly better because it's a little bit too close to spot the sombra but yeah you just constantly think yeah like what is the general spot and then dealing with one sweat at a time <laughs> kind of does it make sense mm -hmm. yeah so like make it easier on myself um deal with one thread at a time instead of you know seeing both and confusing myself exactly exactly yeah if there is a choice you have to make what are you gonna deal with you deal with the biggest threat in that current moment and biggest threat mm -hmm. what is the biggest it's based on Oh, what do you think it's based on? <laughs> uh, pardon, what was that? Sorry? Oh, let's say we want to identify who is more threatening, yeah? What okay. it might be based on. What are the variables you have to look at? Um, what do you think? I want to say, like, maybe, like, range. Yeah, um, where I'm example. at and, like, my position. So, mm -hmm. like, currently where I am. And um, I know Widow's at spawn so my current threat would be sombra all right all right all right exactly like, yeah, yeah. yeah so all of that it can be range it can be what kind of angle they take it can be what kind of cooldowns they use sometimes it can be oh, both cooldowns and ultimates actually yeah so all, mm -hmm. all of that it influences the situation you have to look at that just Look at those variables, check those boxes out and see what is the biggest threat. Deal with that first and then move to another. It should be okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any questions about this here or everything is clear? Uh, no, that's, that makes a lot of sense. I will practice that more. Nice. Okay. <laughs> then let's look at Soldier, right? Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you kind of mentioned you play soldier as a um, more like of a brawler. Is that correct? Yeah, I think I. I was like, I'll I'll try out soldier here, um, for fun, mm -hmm. and I ended up having fun. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What What do you mean when you say you play like um? Like a brawler, I... sort of. What is that exactly? Do you lean towards that more Cassidy play style, or what is that about? Yeah, I think so. I think because I, I play Cass kind of like long mid range, and mm -hmm. Soldier felt like he was mid range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, with so... all his fall off as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. So I ended up. Um... So I ended up playing him like that, and I wasn't sure. But his range seemed better mid-range. Like, the further out you go, it's not as great. So, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this is correct. The range is around the same. I would pay attention to mm -hmm. what is the difference between Soldier and Cassidy. What kind of angles you should be taking? What is the difference? Yeah, we you can kind of we can kind of use the scale thinking about I usually think about it like soft and hard angles. What I mean by that is soft is where you lean towards playing with your core, not necessarily stacking with them, but just being closer. And hard this is where you flank a lot. That is where you have to be behind a lot. Yeah, imagine mm -hmm. it's like a sliding yeah. scale, sort of, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what kind of style want to lean towards? Well, let's start with the Cassidy. What was your style initially? Where, What kind of angles you would be taking with him? Um, Definitely closer to my team because he right. can't really... He doesn't really have, like, 
cooldowns to escape as easily exactly. as like a soldier could. Exactly, exactly. There's just not too much escape. So usually you lean in towards soft angles. You still take those. We still can flank, but it's just not as frequent compared to something like Tracer or Sombra mm -hmm. as an example. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about the soldier? Where you would place him? Maybe not as far as like Tracer would on the scale, but maybe kind of like a bit closer exactly maybe yeah, yeah like kind of in the middle part yeah mm -hmm. yeah sort of sort of i would agree so mm -hmm. if soldiers here cassidy's here then tracer is somewhere towards the end of the scale just can take really mm -hmm. hard angles can exist there a lot mm -hmm. i would actually say like the soldier is even like a little bit closer to this just not mm -hmm. in the middle, but a lot of your value comes from flanking. So it's uh, because most of the value comes from flanking. Yeah, you lean towards this, but not so much as way. So why is that the case? Because um... there are two similarities. Well, well, yeah. What do you think? What 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 are the main similarities between the soldier and tracer? What what allows both tracer and soldier to actually exist on the flanks? <laughs> Oh, a uh, soldier can run. Right. Uh, he can like run, and he also has his like his uh the healing station thing. Mm -hmm. Almost mm -hmm. I don't remember what it's called. I call it the healing station. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, I call it that too. Yeah, you just call it a yeah. fee even sometimes. Yeah, but yeah, it's okay. So <laughs> healing, <thingy>. healing <laughs> state. Yeah, exactly. Healing yeah. station. All of this kind of um mm. self. Uh, let's just say it's kind of you, you're self-sufficient character yeah you have a mm -hmm. lot of a lot of things which are, kind of can heal you up it's kind of easy for you to not get support and still exist on the map so yeah it's mobility and being self-sufficient mm -hmm. that is something what is in terms of similarities yeah those those are both yeah. similarities with the soldier and tracer yeah Mm -hmm. I think that might have been why I I enjoyed playing Soldier because she was kind of close to a Tracer. Yeah. Different. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. You 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 ha you run a lot. You and it's kind of nice that it's something you take advantage of. But what is important about Soldier though? The differences between you and Tracer is that you obviously taking those more mid range fights more towards longer range oriented fights but then mm -hmm. you also have to lean towards making sure you have a position which allows you to do consistent damage so because you don't have as much burst compared to tracer so you with the tracer a lot of times can blink in and then shoot somebody really fast and then escape or a soldier it's not the case as much. You have to really be continuous with your pressure. You really have to make sure have that position which allows you to constantly shoot. It's not like with a Cassidy. Yeah, like you picked around the corner one time, you hide, and then you picked one more time and hide here. You have to be creative. <laughs> That's why. Oh, okay. Flanking helps a lot, actually. So you're able to do consistent damage. But let's see. Oh, okay. Yeah, so see, this is where I kind of start in the lab. This is like okay ish for us. You know, not maybe like way to flank it, but this is decent. Oh, okay. Mm hmm. But then see where we're running towards here. We're trying to run towards our team, but it's kind of a little bit in a bag. But could we be maintaining this side of the map still? Is it possible? Or yeah, well, what was the main thought process? Why were you escaped actually um i think it's just the wall <laughs> i think my brain was just like maybe i should just go around but now i'm like sure. that wall will eventually go down <laughs> yeah sure the wall yeah. it's not allowing you to deal damage the wall in the way so you can't change the position however is that a best position where we should be running towards remember mm. what kind of angles we should be leaning towards i think i should have like off angle more 
-hmm. like instead of going to my team like where they would be seeing because the enemy team would they're already looking at the tank and then they'll see me so i should have all angled maybe like yeah. stay there where i was mm -hmm. maybe or... even stay here or where you should be going maybe i could flank to the left side yeah i think there, so I, too yeah i don't know this, this there's is a health good. pack there too yeah this can be quite good just keep in mind mm. when you have to run away when you have to give up space mm -hmm. so yeah i think that is something you definitely can't think about okay let's continue here yeah, it's just because you need to do consistent damage the flanking is so beneficial it's just you constantly able to shoot somebody be annoying from this kind of longer range distances it's kind of nice mm -hmm. okay so that is the one thing the flanking okay what about the second second fight here well fight starts yeah uh -huh. i don't think i'm flying as much now that i think mm -hmm. about it yeah mm -hmm. where you where you should position here what do you think mm -hmm. Is there anywhere else you could be? Because w w what I'm what yeah. I'm seeing, even even let, let's think about like even the start of the fight. You have mm -hmm. this mobility as the soldier. You kind of self sufficient too. Could you take an advantage of your mobility right at the start of the fight somehow? Yeah, like kind of similar to Tracer. Maybe I could have mm -hmm. like gone. I want to say. To the to the right side. I know there's a health pack over there on the right. Um, As an example, yeah, sure. So kind of yeah. maintaining this position here. Yeah, and I know oh. there's a health pack even like further down there. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It's well, it's here. Or, well, here. Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure you go there, but yeah, you can uh, maybe. It's like by the there's like a truck on the right side. Uh, well, it's uh, there, yeah. If you're talking about this one? Or... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. So something we can start with, not just playing at that position on the on the flank here, just kind of set up on this high ground, but take advantage of our mobility, shoot somebody here, run away. Yeah, we do grab some attention, but just not as much. So our mm -hmm. abilities will not get forced, but then... Because people actually might chase you, but also might be useful to your team. That is nice. You split in their attention, but then you run away and you set up on the decent flank, decent off angle kind of. Mm -hmm. So that is something you want to take advantage of before the fight. Shoot a little, run away, try to kind of make them chase you. You have the mobility, take advantage of that. Because here, that is where you would play maybe like. If it would be casted, maybe at a start, right? You would take mm. those slide off angles. Your team goes there. You dealing with this, maybe. But you're playing soldiers, so you have to lean towards more flanky, flanky style of play. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. Oh, well, yeah, you, you guys still uh, win there. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Any... Oh, I was just gonna comment like, yeah, if I were like over there instead, I think my angle would have been better and I would have seen more too. Yeah, exactly. See, we, we've been saying you taking flanks, but making sure this position allows you to do continuous damage. Yeah, mm -hmm. those those two things together. Flank, continuous damage. Flank, continuous damage. Take advantage of your mobility as an addition as well. So you can run between the angles. You can kind of do early damage in a fight. Like now, for example. Why not run towards this one just a little and damage this Orisa here? Still might yeah. be useful. And then you can run away. I would probably do that kind of from here. Just a slightly better position for you because you're gonna be closer to this you're just gonna have more clear vision on the fight once it's gonna happen around the point so would be nice yeah 
doing something was taking advantage of your mobility. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I kind of run back. Is this? Oh, this is Moira. Was she? She was chasing you, though. Or? I have no idea. I was like, why? Why is there an orb? <laughs> okay, this is why. Oh, you should win. The enemy team is kind of split, so it's mm -hmm. okay. I see. This is like this is why it's like really, really tough, right? You have to hide a lot. See how you have to use dodge all this damage because we basically stacked with whole of our core. Yeah, there's a blizzard. Yeah. There is a, a May shooting you, and there's Orisa shooting you. So you have to hide around the wall. You can't do continuous damage. It's difficult. Mm hmm. Yeah, it would have been better if I were over there on the right side. Yeah. Yes, and... exactly. Mm. See the next point. Is there anything to notice here? Oh, there's more. There are some high earns to use. Okay. Then we start. And then do some pressure. Novissa. Okay. And you run away. This is fine. Using your healing station. Mm -hmm. How do you use your healing station usually? Um. Uh... I think honestly, if I'm like low, <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't actually know when I should use the healing station. Kind of just use it to heal myself, but I feel like there are better ways I can use it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So basically, <clears throat> what do we can think about? Because we talk, we've been talking about the positioning. Taking flanks, mm -hmm. making sure you can do continuous damage, taking advantage of mobility, all of that, you can actually do that because you have those tools which allow you to survive. So it's your ability to run and your ability to use healing station at any point of time. If somebody is going to chase you, if you're trying to exist on the flank, but they deal damage to you, <clears throat> they can always respawn with your um, healing station. Mm -hmm. So... The first idea, yeah, when you're low and to actually heal yourself, it's good. However, the second thing is, is, do I really need, like, uh, what about the enemy team? Are they really active and do a lot of pressure on me? Are they really damaging me at this point of time? See what I mean? So, oh, yeah. Yeah, so that is something to think about. We're not just placing it. Yeah, like, think about it like... Uh, the Zarya bubble, Winston bubble, if you use it now, yeah, mm -hmm. what the how the enemy is going to respawn. Mm -hmm. What do you think? If we use it right now, just a little bit too early, kind of. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a wasted resource because now they can just like wait till I'm on cooldown and like, right, right. jump on me. Exactly. Because I, I don't have the healing station to heal me. Exactly, exactly. And uh, see, you want to make it yeah. other way around. You want to make them go on you, kind of maybe mm -hmm. bait them a little bit. And because they're going on you, you can respawn mm -hmm. with your healing station. Mm. Mm -hmm. So that is okay. something that is something you can take advantage of. Because if it's a Winston bubble right there, the enemy yeah. team, they can just wait, break it, maybe deal with this first. They, they're not that in interested in you, but... Once they know you kind of a little bit low on HP, maybe you yeah you kind of bait in them to push you. It's better you actually split the resources. You actually make it easier for your yeah. team to control the map. Yeah. So in that kind of moment, the healing station was a little bit a little bit early. You can mm -hmm. just wait for the pressure and then use it after. Still, still in the right. Yeah, the the fight. The fight went okay. Yeah, Risa could yeah. have like killed me if I was low. <laughs> well, it could be possible, but I think it, the mechanics are good. You, the way we use corners, it's also nice. Yeah, like bro, it's coming from those other <laughs> heroes as well. It seems like we're either using all this cover dodging, a lot of 
cooldowns right you responding to the enemies pushing kind of leading the tempo so it's nice it's helping mm -hmm. this is a little yeah, bit tricky use the... mm -hmm. yeah. yes yeah i used the healing station there i noticed right. but like, exactly exactly nothing's happening <laughs> yeah nothing happening to you yet right there's just yeah. potential pressure right mm -hmm. but there is no pressure yet so you can kind of wait it <laughs> can kind of slow it down a little bit mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. that's kind of common thing a lot of players actually use it a little bit too proactively i think even a at a high side yeah it's just maybe i should use it a bit more defensively yeah use it defensively but you still create in situations where you're being aggressive you go on mm -hmm. the flanks you do a lot of damage and then the enemies they respond to you and then you use the healing station basically yeah like there if the reaper goes in you obviously you have to use healing station because otherwise he's gonna kill you yeah mm -hmm. well it's obviously you don't want to <laughs> stay in front of the just being too close like here probably i can run a yeah little, but... i think i could have like just run <laughs> yeah maybe just keep the range not not just like run away constantly keep the range and then shoot him and then mm -hmm. later if there's a lot of pressure, you can press your healing station and don't forget about the movement. Mm -hmm. That is the thing we mentioned. Just uh, make sure it's a la as last linear as possible. So it's a, a D strafing, not just one in straight line. You have a kind of run towards here, one line, and we also jump. You know? Do things together, yeah. same kind of pattern, which we've been noticing before. Makes it really easy to kill me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Because the especially with the soldier, the movement, the way you can dodge all this stuff is quite, it's quite crucial. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, we get rid of the Winston. This is okay, so you're winning the fight, so you don't really have to do much with the position. You just kind of maintain the pressure because you got initial picks, so this is fine. Okay, now remember the previous things we talked about, taking advantage of mobility, maintaining mm -hmm. flanks, taking flanks. So what do you think about your position? Um, I think I could have gone a little further yeah. A bit. Probably yeah just a little yeah just start just yeah. checking what's there maybe if somebody's gonna show up you deal damage to them if they're gonna be too close you run away mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. are you gonna keep this position here or um, maybe i could have like flanked because there's a health pack there too and i'm kind of like still kind of close to my team so flank, flank where exactly you saying this position uh, here or yeah where a is i think maybe uh, i could have been there okay okay but i feel like it's kind of getting close but yeah. i can run yeah I feel. yeah you can run mm -hmm. but don't forget that when the fight is about to start we need to be able to do continuous damage and what yeah. kind of range you need to be able to do continuous damage? Um, mid mid range. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. So I feel like that's too close now. Yeah. Look at exactly. It. That's exactly. like more of a tracer kind of flank. Yeah. Exactly. See, like tracer can lean towards those kind of flanks. It's a more short range as well. You soldier, I think you probably just maintain those long range sidelines here, a little bit of here maybe maybe a little bit of here but then you have to run away you cannot yeah. keep the same short range like tracer you have to make sure you deal continuous damage while keeping your long range sight lines so yeah so i guess my spot is like okay yeah it's kind of okay just want to be here a little bit earlier like 
yeah mm -hmm. use your run ability like instant run just in case somebody is going to show up shoot them and then run back because now we just kind of we've been standing still a little it was not too crucial at the end but my, mm -hmm. could have been a little bit high value if there would be other situation yeah like now you run run back take the angle here yeah this is okay you're able to do continuous damage mm -hmm. it's a little bit just <laughs> it's a reaper ultimate what what happened there i actually almost yeah. finished him too yeah i think he like jumps i didn't realize he could do that i well, he, he, he's the old. Well, he's the ultimate, and then there's a winston burst at the same time. Well, yeah, somewhat unfortunate, but yeah, that, that is just something to read. Like, if you know there's an ultimate, trying to keep the range, maybe like finishing the Reaper could work with the Helix Socket. I just think the monkey, monkey got you there. Yeah, so you yeah. just had to run away. Mm -hmm. now, at this point of time, it's just if you know the enemy is getting closer. They have whatever the sustained rules you just keep your distance keep keep for dating if you can play here well maybe you can play over there a little just mm -hmm. continuous continuous damage from long range it's quite quite crucial okay mm, i think let's see uh maybe i can give you a few examples of what i mentioned as well so we've been saying uh look into the flanks being able to do continuous damage, taking advantage of mobility, a little bit of movement too, actually. But yeah, I think it's mostly, mostly positioning. Let's see. Mm. Do you have any questions about all of this? What I mentioned here so far, or mm. I'm thinking. I don't think I do. I think it's mostly like, like flanking. Because I've been flanking mostly as Tracer, and I was like, oh yeah, that's that's too close range, so I should flank, but kind of like not too hard like a Tracer, like mm -hmm. not too close range. Well, yeah. you, you just... Uh, well, the range is another factor. The range is another factor. The... How hard they're gonna take angles is just all about how how much you turn the enemy's attention around, you know, like how how much how far it can go in their backline. Mm -hmm. Basically, I think for now the main reason you can think you similar to Trace, you do the same stuff as Tracer, but you just do it from different range, and you mm -hmm. want to be able to do continuous damage from your position instead of it being like bursty like with the, with the tracer yeah you can just hide be sneaky a soldier no you, you cannot wait too long you have to you have to be more consistent with your damage output <laughs> okay so like yeah so like less like hiding and like more like am i able to do pressure and damage at mm -hmm. this angle while still flanking mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah for example here just gonna use this um, have a couple of examples saved so just some of the rank to gms the bunch of those on youtube's on youtube mm -hmm. so basically um, the fight is happening near the objective uh, the around the corner by the way notice the start of the fight this play here is taking advantage of mobility exactly what we said before mm -hmm. because there's a potential for you to farm an ultimate this is fine you obviously don't want to overdo it you don't want to waste your resources once the real fight is about to start you want to have those in real fight currently here you don't have any cooldowns available though like there's no healing station so it's okay you can get it back just make sure he's gonna survive doing a little bit of damage mm -hmm. and then run away preparing for the real fight okay now the real fight starts you gotta be on the flank somewhere this healing station i don't think is good so it could be actually keeping that for the pressure on the angle which he's gonna do like this is an example i wanted to show you yeah his team goes there from a he's attacking from b this is kind of mid to long range sightline that is what he's trying to use as a soldier similar to tracer but notice it's just the range differences yeah as a tracer you would maybe be somewhere like i don't know 
Maybe like here-ish. Maybe you can be inside a building sometimes. Mm -hmm. Might be using this space as well. Yeah, kind of. So <clears throat> it's just differences with the range. So he is able to do similar pressure. But then, see, the, this mistake actually, because he used his healing station, he's not going to be able to maintain this plane as long. I think he's going to die because of it too. But let's see. Oh, this okay. is this is still this is still like good example for us. Yeah, the, in terms of flanking, that was good. Healing station, I don't think it was that good. He's just about to get it, right? But there's so much pressure, and just one second here, which I should have almost got him killed, or maybe got him killed even. Yeah, almost got him killed. Five HP left, <laughs> right? But that that is that is important. The healing station allows you to oh, okay, be yeah. more flanky, to be more aggressive. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Continues to do that, and again, the fight starts, taking advantage of mobility, running, shooting the enemies a little, not doing that in a way so we have to use all of our resources, we just run back if something happens, but then when the real fight starts, we again gotta be on the flank somewhere. So he's doing the same thing, taking an angle there, his team is about to fight, so that is where he might think about investing more of his resources, he just... Push him back a little because the fight is happening around this area, but guys wiser. Let's see. Might use that. They might might use that as the enemy is pushing up a little. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. This is more disciplined healing station. He's getting pushed once it's mm -hmm. happening. Healing station is used, and then the enemies have to respond. They have to deal with the fact that there's a healing station. They cannot dodge because they committed the cooldowns. They committed the slam grapple and blinks with the tracer so yeah they, they have he still dies but it's okay sometimes it's okay for you to die if you're forcing out a lot of stuff you did decent amount of pressure on the map because of it your team might win the fight anyway and that is happening right there there are good deaths and bad deaths i think there was okay this it maybe could have Played it a little bit better with the movement. Maybe use wiser a little bit early, but you know, overall was okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Does all of it make so, sense? Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, so like keep in mind like flanking before the fight, like scouting and like doing pressure. Mm -hmm. And then when the real fight happens, you would like continue to flank, or I guess it would depend on the situation. You right. for now, let's just say you're gonna be continue to flank, but okay. what the only difference is that in that early phase of the fight, we call it poke phase. Again, mm -hmm. if we go back, so what's happening here? This is the poke phase when the real fight is not starting. Both teams are far from each other. You farm old church, farm old church. You want to have your cooldowns. You don't want your cooldowns to be forced or ultimates being forced. Okay. Mm -hmm. When brawl phase starts, you do the same concept for the mentally. You do the flank, but then at that point of time when you're going to do flanking, you actually will use your cooldowns. So it's, mm. uh, yeah, it's going to happen just this soon yeah like there there's a brawl phase you can he's gonna use his healing station actually that's gonna be more useful there and um i think there was something else actually well fun, I, I think that's it but you can just maintain this idea poke phase brawl phase yeah make sure yeah. you have the cooldowns for the brawl phase <laughs> and you should be all right Oh, yeah, I just wanted to say, when you're flanking, doing all of this stuff, you don't have to choose the same angle where you've been doing the initial damage. Yeah, if you did initial damage there from the left stairs, it doesn't mean that you have to choose this again once mm -hmm. the fight starts. Yeah, if you have another option, you can do that. It depends. But you're still going to flank a little bit more. Does it make sense? Yeah. Yeah, because he's still like in a flanky position right here yeah 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 exactly that is the same it's just kind of a fundamental idea of lean towards the flanking uh, mm -hmm. more there are gonna be cases where you can play with your team obviously but yeah you, a soldier it's still important because continuous damage output because you actually need to be able 
to do pressure from this mm -hmm. mid to long range sight lines. Yeah, being able to do all that together. Does it, does it make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Okay, good. I think at, at this point, we could actually do a game if you want. Just try to implement that. Okay, yeah, we'll have sure. some time. Yeah, we can just try to make sure you were flank as much as possible. Take advantage of your mobility. Let's just say that. Start of the fight, do a little bit of damage, run back. Prepared resources for the real fight and then shoot the enemies when they're gonna be active, be inactive in the mm -hmm. brawl phase. Let's do that. All right. Mm. Just gonna. Yeah, I think you should be able to screen share now. Uh, do you see it? Let's take a look. Yeah, it's working just fine. My volume working. That's okay. Don't don't need the bottom as much. <laughs> okay. <I'm from> muted. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah, like flanking. I should be flanking more, so we're kind of like Tracer. Yeah, let's do the same. We're going to be the same idea with flanks. It's just going to be different because the range is different. Mm -hmm. Man, it's about that. Okay, this is a decent map. Guardians can be okay. Yeah, can be okay for soldier. So, for example, here, your position might be taking that high ground on top. Mm -hmm. That is where you can do continuous damage. You have mid to long range sightline, and you use rooms which are closer to the enemies just in case if you want to flank. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You're kind of leaning towards that. Mm -hmm. But first, you take that opposition. Uh, Try to do that first. And just in case, you can always go inside the rooms there, but be careful because the range is going to be short range there. But this is... Mm -hmm. This is more of your range, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and for now, I think you can stay. Mm -hmm. Maybe getting a little bit closer. Right. Now take advantage of your mobility early once the fight is over. If okay, well this guy's low. Sh make sure you get the the mercy. Or do okay, Doom is low. Nice. Mm-hmm. Continue to maintain the flank if you need to run. You still do the same idea, yeah. Oh, where did they go? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Good discipline with the healing station as well. Keep it once the pressure is about to happen. Maybe here. Yeah. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> nice. Okay. I'm running. Oh no. I think you can escape. You should be right. Yeah. yeah. And. Nice. Okay. Good job. Good healing station too. Nice. Good job. 
Yeah. I just get the Doom. Mm-hmm. Oh! That's unfortunate. <laughs> Did we jump there? I did I? I, I... Let's see, let's see. Yeah, oh, oh was a no. <laughs> I didn't see him there. That was good overall, though. That was a good fight overall. Okay, position oh, okay. yourself, take advantage of mobility. You might run a little bit towards an enemy spawn just in case if you want to do early damage, right? By using this left. Yeah. Oh. Well, now you definitely have to run. Oh, no. That's okay. Okay. I think I should have just stayed up there. Yeah, I think it's just... Mm -hmm. uh, if you see them, like, really approaching this far, they already on that right side space. You probably stay up there, yeah. It's just kind of... Don't... We... we don't forget it. We take advantage of mobility early in the fight. Like, now. You can do that mm -hmm. still. Yeah, you can kind of run, do a little bit of damage, and then run back if it's needed. Maybe you can take advantage of mobility to this extent so you set up on different oh. angle too. Um, because you have mm -hmm. your visor, if you know the enemies are playing up front, this joke. What about if you run all the way right side as an example? That might be a good option. Or maybe go under left side. I think right side is slightly better since you're longer range character. Just, yeah. T take advantage of mobility at the start, yeah? D this is okay. the first part. Mm -hmm. And then once the fight's about to happen, you do something. All right. All right. This is nice. There's decent pressure. Where did I go? <laughs> <laughs> Careful. Ooh. What's the one? Okay, I should keep in mind running and position myself first. Mm hmm Okay. Exactly. Taking and advantage of ability this turn. Yeah. I have on so I'm gonna go here. Oh, he wants me dead. That's a, that's all right. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, maybe you can run to all the way left mm -hmm. and try to touch. I just don't think it's going to have time. Mm hmm uh, that's okay. It was it was it was decent though. Mm -hmm. There were a couple of deaths where you could have avoided that, like dying to Doomfist, maybe dying to Hanzo, but um, that's okay. Just keep that yeah. in mind. Uh, Doomfist, keep in the range. Hanzo, avoid jumping. Mm. I think I should like left side. Yeah, you can try. Yeah, you can try. Yeah. Try to start. Well, it might be if somebody's going to use that space like Tracer or Reaper, it might be a little bit complicated because it's a little bit shorter range sideline. But if it's not going to work, you can always use top right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, that was decent. Mm 
<laughs> this position is decent. You, you, you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh huh, doing crouching is better. You can kill it. Oh, that was close. I almost killed him. Well, this day you scared him away. Might try to contest you there, too. Oh. <laughs> He's, <still> <laughs> He's <laughs> trying to kill you so hard. <laughs> nice. Yeah, this one, she, this guy has a little bit of advantage, I think. No. <laughs> All right. Make sure you set up. Mm hmm It's kind of at this point you have to yeah. yeah you just give up space but then once the next fight starts make sure you set up and uh you can still try the left side I think why not? The right side can also work. I'm gonna try the left side again. You can try, yeah, yeah you can try. I think both options can work. Just depends um, on where your team is going to go. Yeah. No. That's a... <laughs> that's yeah, a I maybe I should have went right, because Hammond no, was going... I, I, I think it's okay. Like, where you are, it's okay. It's just mm -hmm. the, the timing. Once your ball is being really active, that is when you kind of can pick out more, actually. Remember, like, your ball is running away, so you cannot... A peak that uh, aggressively, mm -hmm. right? So it just it does matter the position as much, kind of. Okay. Mm -hmm. So but I could have like continued going left. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, I think it would be better. Probably you set up, and mm -hmm. then your ball goes in, and then you have really good position, and you start in the fight instead of it being like you start a fight when your ball is out, and then you. Is too much pressure on you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can do sure. we can do one more game actually. You can All just right. try to uh, do flanking a little bit more and then making sure we responding to the pressure with your healing mm -hmm. station once the once you lose your HP. So just two things, yeah. Keep in mind two things. Okay. Uh, HP at one hundred and you actively get pressured, then you use your healing station. Yeah. Okay. So I sp sp <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I should be flanking. And when I when my HP is at a hundred, mm -hmm. I should put the healing station. Yeah, HP and if there's active pressure. Active pressure means primary fire or cooldowns. Cooldowns is the priority first. Mm -hmm. Like Genji, if Genji used the dash on you, and you lost one hundred HP, that's a good signal for you to use your healing station. <laughs> okay, because yeah, he wouldn't be able to do anything else. Exactly. Except he said maybe run. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. It's especially in those moments when they use the dash, when they about to go for the right click, you trying to dodge the shots with your movement a little, make sure you recharge your HP. And then you fight them right after. They can't do much, basically. That's really nice. The moment is an important part, I think. Might maybe discuss that more in the next session, too. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This might be too 
Too you can much? try it. I think you can try it. Okay. Just do early had well, maybe not all the way left here, but like I can start from I'm... here, but see uh, you, you gotta do here's just all about doing early healing station, then run it back probably. I don't think you can yeah. kind of be like a trace on the flank because you're gonna be too isolated. You just do yeah. early damage first and run back probably. Right. Yeah, you have to run, yeah. See at that point as well. Don't forget about the burst damage with your helix socket if you take advantage of mobility that way. Yeah. Okay, now set up where you're gonna be. Probably the stairs here can work. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go this yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Try, try this out. This is good. Yeah. This is this is this is this is really nice. Just maintain your longer range sight lines. Meet too long. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Nice. I I, I would say you could stay a little bit longer. Uh, because you have your healing station. Somebody's chasing you? Oh, no. No, no, no. Never mind. Oh, no. Yay! <laughs> 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 oh, maybe I shouldn't have jumped. <laughs> well, it's alright. That was alright overall. Okay, I'm gonna try that again. I'm gonna flank. Yeah, exactly. You kind of you can do the same actually. You let them pass and then flank, but then use your healing station as a response to their pressure. Yeah, yeah, kind of like there. It's just healing station allows to maintain good positions. Healing station helps out. All right, I'm gonna do this. Okay, drop. Wait for pressure to happen and use your healing station. Don't run back. Mm hmm. And visor, maybe, yeah. Mm hmm. Do Dodge Dult. That's okay. That was decent. I think you, at this point, when you know the Dult is just ulted, uh, probably reposition to this way so you run up the stairs so he has no choice. But, like, mm. If he is going to drop, you basically have a choice. Either stay on the stairs or drop and dodge his ult. Um, this mm -hmm. way, it's like going to be harder for him. Uh, it was okay. Maybe I should. Maybe I should fight. Uh, what was I thinking? <laughs> I, think you... I thought, I thought we, we can lose it. Oh no, I... Okay. You can okay, run away yeah. at this point, yeah. Well, it took advantage of mobility a little. Now, the real fight, once it's about to start, make sure you have the position. Low. Okay. <laughs> can I actually kill her? Yeah, hitting station. Easy. Uh huh. Get her? Oh, she was solo! Nice! I'm healed. <laughs> <laughs> the healing! <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> nah, it's slightly hard because it's a short range space for you, but. Yeah. Was, was that Moira really wanted to heal the Sombra. Okay, I'm gonna go this. Mm. Yeah, experiment through this. Ooh. Wait, what is that? <laughs> this is where. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, well, was gonna... interesting. This is a common position for soldier because they have this kind of mid range, long range sideline here. Especially if the enemies goes, if they go on the bridge, using this here is really nice. Mm hmm. Uh-huh. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, when this here it's nice. You can go here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. Okay. Where'd she go? <laughs> you have the visor for the nice fight, I think. It should be okay. Yeah. You just check for that uh, somber if she's gonna come the short range angle here. I should be winning. Oh. Oh no. That's unfortunate. You had to give up that space. Mm. Yeah. It's oh. just that if we keep that, I think you should have won. It's just, it's just kind of the part of it is checking for the Sombra and then healing station is a response once she's attacking us. And then you, because mm -hmm. you stay, you can kind of wise her from there. But I think you still can win, right? Yeah, yeah. take advantage of your ability. Yeah. That's a good position. Okay. Wait for the pressure to happen and respond with your healing station. Check where the Sombra is. She's under. Okay. We're good. Mm-hmm. Healing station now, probably? Or... Oh. She's behind you? <laughs> and the Sombra. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, that was that was nice, especially with all this flanking and the first point, second point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I see the pattern. Set up, scout, flank, pressure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> see, see, a, I'm like doing it to like <laughs> simple key keywords. <laughs> <laughs> right. So my brain remembers. <laughs> Yeah, 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 exactly. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. So with that Sombra there, I could have just responded with the Helix, or... Or not Helix, sorry, the Healing Station. It doesn't matter. Well, uh, first of all, it's about you knowing that she might come, so you might even do yeah. a little bit of spray just to check, just in case if she's going to come. If not, then... It's more about expectations because you expect if she's about to hack, you turn, try to shoot, and then you respond with healing station, obviously. Yeah. So you, mm -hmm. again, healing station allows you to maintain your flanks. We don't have to run away if you have your healing station. Okay. Usually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, sometimes there are cases where you poorly miss position, so you have to run away, sure. But yeah. it shouldn't be the case, ideally. Yeah? We should be having kind of good position right at the start. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, I will try the left side. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, using all the way left, like you run through the gates and then I'll go all the way left is the best, I think. Yeah, yeah, go for it. I should be back behind you if needed also, but you should be okay because you have also have the healing station by the way. We killed the storm. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh no! That was close. I, I think just wait slightly, yeah. We place the healing station, yeah. hide behind the corner, get your speed up more than one hundred and pick him. Oh okay. Mm-hmm. I could have uh been patient and stay in the corner. Yeah, just just a little bit more, yeah. Mm-hmm. Just the same try the same thing out. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure you, why it seems pushing high ground, but oh. <laughs> should I wait? <laughs> you, you, you can scout. You can scout the info, see what's happening. If somebody is low, you can take advantage of that. If not, then you wait. Because you're doing this. Like yeah, yeah, well. yeah, exactly. Why are you with me? Yeah, it's okay. okay. It's good. It's good. It's good. She can be with you. You need your Doomfist to... Uh, mm -hmm. okay. Your Doomfist should engage first. Okay, go. <laughs> oh, my... <laughs> oh. mm, this platform is nice. I'm 
They can even damage their own platform too. So. <laughs> That's funny. You can just stay there. Be mortal. I think they know I'm coming this way now. Yeah, it's alright. If your team's coming main, you should be okay. Just come the same way. Anyway. Just let your team to go. Yeah, you let your team go and then you and you run. Uh, you have to set up. You have to run on the yeah. flank. Yeah, yeah, you can't be here. Like, your Zyra is checking for you, but it's just about the timing. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's just uh, st still. Yeah, nice. Mystation. station. Might kill him. Nice, good job. Need to try to survive. Your team is dead. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> By the way, something to think about is maybe using that loud building too. Just running towards that, but it's definitely like run there, left. Once your tank is in, you go in as well. Mm hmm. No, you're you, yeah. Instantly set up and fight. Yeah. Mm hmm. Nice. Good. Nice. Good. You should be winning. Taking advantage of mobility early. This is good. So we get early pressure done. Maybe early kills done. Mm hmm That's a good position. Nice, good flank. Healing station right, yeah. And you can kill her maybe. Oh well. Let's just run. <laughs> ah. I live! Yeah, nice. Yeah, you win this fight if you get the Anna. Right. Zarya behind. Okay. No! No! I give up! <laughs> well, it was close. Can I kill the Zarya? Probably. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I gave up that one. That was funny. <laughs> okay. Nice. I think this position is something you can keep. Oh. 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 Happens. Thank oh. Nah, it's so... Uh, okay. That's so okay. And it happens. Okay. <laughs> okay. So there's a pattern to playing fun. Mm-hmm. But honestly, it's a lot of fun, so... <laughs> yeah, 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 I think Soldier is really fun to play. <laughs> yeah. I never really played him, and then over the weekend, I decided, oh, I'm going to try him out, and then I have fun. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure, yeah, why not to play more? Exactly, like, the first priority is always, what do you enjoy more? If you enjoy playing that character more, why not to play? Sure. Yeah, because I, I wanted the third character at least three you're like close, mid, and long. And um, I got bored of Cass, so I'm like, okay, I'm going to try Soldier. He's fun. You get to run. <laughs> yeah. I guess he's kind of like similar to Tracer. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, maybe that's why 
he's fun. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, he's really similar, just using different range for the most part, making sure you're able to do continuous damage as well. That is something mm -hmm. you want to keep an eye on. Okay, I think we can kind of summarize what we mentioned today so far. So, what are the things we learned today? Yeah, so like I learned um, to set up first, like kind of similar to Tracer, but not too mm -hmm. too hard of an angle or off angle. Yeah, so we want to set up, scout, and then we can like do during the poke phase, try to like farm alt and such. And then when the real fight happens, then I can start pressuring. Mm -hmm. Um and then I learned how to use the healing station. Use it more defensively, like when I have a hundred HP or when I'm being really pressured, then I can use it. Or exactly. I can run. 